Good afternoon everyone. I thought I would read one of my favourite Bible stories, David and Goliath. One day, young David was looking after the sheep when he heard his father calling. Take this bread and cheese to your brothers, said his father. David's three older brothers were away fighting in King Saul's army. Taking the bundle, David set off at once. King Saul's army was camped on a hillside. On the other hillside, the Philistine army had gathered. It was an amazing sight. David searched among the lines of soul soldiers. He soon found his three brothers. Just then, a giant soldier stepped forward from the Philistine army. And there he is. He was so tall, he towered over everyone else. He roared, I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? Not one of King Saul's soldiers replied. They were all afraid. The soldiers talked among themselves. The king will give a big prize to whoever kills the mighty giant Goliath, they said. What's going on? Young David asked his brothers. It's nothing to do with you, they said. You're just a boy. Go home and look after the sheep. But David did not go home. He went to see King Saul in his tent. I will fight the giant, said David. But you're just a boy and he is a mighty giant, said the king. I have killed a lion and a bear that tried to attack my sheep, said David. I was not afraid because God looked after me. King Saul gave David a helmet, armour and a sword. David put them on. They were much too big. He tried walking around the tent. I can't wear these, he said. I'm not used to them. He took them off again. Instead, David took his sling and his pouch and went down to the stream. There he found five smooth stones and put them in his pouch. My sling was all I needed to fight the lion and the bear, he thought. God will look after me. David went down to meet Goliath. And there they are. The giant towered over him. He roared, I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? I am, said David. Will you fight me with that stick? Asked Goliath. Goliath was angry. And there he is. He's very, very angry. Goliath lumbered towards David. David grabbed a stone from his pouch and put it in his sling. Goliath waved his sword in the air. David let the stone fly through the air. The stone hit Goliath in the middle of his forehead. He crashed to the ground. King Saul's army cheered. The mighty Goliath is dead, they cried. The Philistine army ran away, chased by King Saul's soldiers. Young David was a hero. And that's the end of that story. David and Goliath.